Hey there, it's Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com, that lady on the internet who loves you, showing up today with the question, how do you measure worthiness? How do you measure worthiness? Not how do you in general, I'm not asking you to write a definition for the dictionary. How do you measure it in your life? How worthy do you consider yourself to be and where do you get that measurement from? Well, I was looking on YouTube for some videos about worthiness and I was astounded that I could not find one that spoke to Christians, people who believe in God, people who believe in Jesus. And it saddens me so much that it seems, seems, not blaming, it seems this way to me, that the church in general just really squashes worthiness to, to such a point that it's, it, it steals people's sense of value in and of themselves. When the truth is, we have great value, you have great value, and your worthiness your worthiness is given to you by the one who created you. You are created in the image and likeness of God, the almighty God. You have value and worth without doing a thing. Some people measure their worthiness by behavior, action, character. Well, you're worthy of this because, you know, you have this great character. I disagree because that can change in a person's life and then they have worth and then they don't have worth anymore. Some people measure worthiness because of accomplishments and things they've done, things they've collected, how much money they make, their position. That's not right either because that can change too. People can say, just decide I I'm worthy because I'm just choosing to be worthy. And I think that's a good start. I think that's a good start, but really we can stop choosing one day and then one day we choose to feel worthy and another day we choose to not feel worthy because someone said something or we felt something or something happened to us. All of these are unstable places. Where I measure my worthiness and why, where I wanna encourage you to measure your worthiness is because God created you. God calls you worthy. God is, his opinion of you is that you're so worthy that he sent Jesus. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that Jesus would come and lay down his life for you, for me. I think that's a lot to, to give to somebody is your whole life. I think that really shows value and worth. Now, our response to that is a whole different story. I'm talking about just the inherent value that God has put in you and me. Inherent value. That's value that cannot be taken away. That's our worthiness is in that un inherent value. And then what are we going to do with that? We have to own that. And then when we see that and own that we are worthy of value, we are worthy of love, we are worthy of life, because God gave it to us, we're gonna behave differently. We're gonna believe differently, we're gonna see differently, we're gonna act differently. And you're gonna have a much better life if you attach your worthiness to something solid and secure as God himself, God himself. And if you need some help assimilating this and doing this and to own your worthiness, I have my book, Because You Matter, and it will help you own your value among other things in there. But there's a chapter on owning your value. That one chapter is worth buying it if you struggle with worthiness. And I have another one that I'll share with you in another episode. So I wanna just give you that one today and encourage you. How do you measure your worthiness? And do you attach it to these things that change? Do you find that it affects how you feel? You know, we're not kind of worthy or you know, a little bit worthy or a lot worth. No, we're either worthy or we're not. It's like black and white. And you are worthy because Jesus decided you are worthy. God himself decided you are worthy. And he would love to connect with you. If you're not connected with him already, I encourage you to connect with him and say, hey, this lady on the internet who says she loves me says that you think I'm worthy. Can we have a conversation here? 
he'll reach out to him. And if you are a Christian and you've sat underneath people that want to beat down your value, that you have to follow all these things and act this way and talk this way and do all these things to be of any value, I want to encourage you to listen to this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and internalize your value because you're of great value. You know, the Bible calls you the apple of God's eye. That's, that's a... A fancy way of saying you're pretty awesome. So I want to encourage you with that today. I love you. I'm that lady on the internet who loves you. I love to tell you that. I love for you to hear that. As I said, play this over and over again and get a copy of my book, Because You Matter, and leave me a review too. I'd love that. So have a great day. Till next time, mwah. I love you.